Hello guys, welcome to AgriClarity and I welcome you all to today's episode where we are going to discuss about horticulture practice question. Now remember these questions will be one-liners and we'll try to incorporate as much as we can. Plus we're going to see that which are the areas that IBPS A4 focuses on. Okay, so in this session you will have two benefits. One is what kind of questions they may ask and second is which areas to focus for the mains. So I hope all of you are uh, gearing up for the mains, okay, because uh, mains exam is very near. So you need to keep your pen and paper ready, okay, and jot down any points which are important. So these revision sessions will help you because uh, through this you can understand which areas you need to focus on, where you are lagging behind, right, and accordingly you can practice for the rest of the days. So let's uh, begin today's session then. The first question is, pungency in garlic is due to the presence of which of the following compounds? So option number A is capsaicin, option number B, diallyl disulfide, C says allyl propyl disulfide, D says oleoresins and E says isocyanates. So the correct answer to this question is, Option number B, diallyl disulfide. So you can see I have mentioned uh, the pungency principles of the different crops. Right, like diallyl disulfide pungency of garlic. Allyl propyl disulfide is of onion. Isocyanates is of radish or crucifers. And capsaicin is of chili. Oleoresins is of pepper or chili. So oleoresins uh, is the pungency principle for, uh, you can say, pepper chili. And capsaicin is an example of an oleoresin. Okay, let's move to question number two. Indole 3 carbonyl, an anti cancerous compound, is found in which of the following crop? So the options are cabbage, beans, lettuce, brinjal, and onion. And the correct answer to this question is option number A, that is cabbage. So cold crops or crucifers have indoles and diethyl, uh, I'm sorry, diethyl theons as anti cancerous compounds. So these uh, compounds help in preventing cancer. Okay, so therefore crucifers are very good source of anti-cancerous compounds. Anti-cancerous compounds in beans is cameferol and that of brinjal is anthocyanin, particularly nesunin. Onion has allicin which has antibacterial activity. So from this one question you have got so many information, right? And you have also seen that from which areas IBPS may ask some questions. Okay, let's move to question number three. Nirvazai, Kotavazai are the physiological disorders of which crop? Now, this seems to be a very easy question. So, such kind of questions are also going to appear. Like about 10 or 11 questions will be a bonus questions for you, wherein you can answer in just a second, right? But care is while marking the answers. You should always be very careful so that you do not miss mark or you do not make mistakes in such kind of simple questions, okay? So, uh, I mean, the options for this uh, question are grapes, pineapple, banana, apple, custard apple. And the answer to this question is, I hope you have got it right. Option number C, banana. Near vazai, kota vazai, these are what? Physiological disorders of banana. And near vazai, as the name near, relates to water. So here the symptoms will be watery pulp, poor fruit setting. Whereas kota vazai, okay, it is related to underdeveloped fruits and kota is related to seed. So in this kind of banana, there will be seed-like structures. So mm, nendran is the nendran is the most susceptible variety for uh, nirvazai, and puvan is the susceptible variety for kotavazai. Okay, let's move to the next question. Question number four: Which of the following horticultural commodities have been included in the enum basket by government of India? So in this way, questions sometimes may be correlated to the current. Okay, so not exactly directly asked from the current affairs, but they may correlate the questions from uh, the current happenings. So recently we've seen a news where government of India has included some new commodities into the enum basket. So it is, but in this question they have asked that which of the following commodities are in included in the enum basket. Okay, so options are water chestnut, dragon fruits, beetle leaf, jadalu mango or all of the above. The answer to this question is, all of the above, right? Union Agriculture Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan on Wednesday announced the inclusion of an additional seven products on the ENAM platform. So among these seven products, the horticultural products include Jardalu Mango, Shahi Lichi, 
magahi pan and banarsi pan okay so these are the four products out of the seven products which are horticultural products apart from these dragon fruit tomato tamarind cumin etc are also included in the inam basket from time to time moving to the next question number 5 krishna francis balwant are varieties of which crop so options are mango lychee bear eonla or custard apple so answer to this question is option number d that is eonla so krishna francis balwant banarsi these are important varieties of eonla whose scientific name is emblica officinalis then gola sebe uh, kaithali banarsi again you see banarsi again Ilaichi Umran are important varieties of beer that is Zizophus morshana Ramphal Sitaphal Lakshmanphal these are botanical types of custard apple okay or you can say botanical varieties of custard apple and Shahi China Purbi Desi Rose Center Muzaffarpur Seedless etc are varieties of lychee lychee chinensis right okay so in this way from one question you know from the most important uh, varieties of four crops right okay in this you should uh, when you uh, go for revision you should be going in such kind of way okay try to relate from one question try to relate as much as you can okay right next let us move to question number 6 identify the crop which is derived due to modification of stem so if you see the options are brinjal radish broccoli cabbage and onion so answer to this question is option number e that is onion so again we will be trying to cover as much as we can from one question so brinjal chili tomato cucumbers peas and beans okra these are all fruits okay we are talking about the economic products in here okay which uh, plant organ are the economic products so accordingly brinjal chili tomato cucumbers peas beans okra these are fruits of the crop i mean of the plant radish carrot beetroot turnip sweet potato are modified roots potato onion yam taro are modified stems broccoli is the flower head whereas cauliflower is the floral primordia these two differences you need to be very clear with okay let's move to question number 7 then what is the isolation distance required for foundation seed production of okra and this was a uh, pyq of ibpsa for 2020 exact question okay so the answer to this question is option number d that is 400 meter so therefore you need to focus on what you need to focus on the isolation distance of the different important crops for foundation as well as for certified seeds okay for foundation and certified seeds of different important crops you need to be clear with at least you should know the range whether it's in 200s 300s or 400s moving to the next question which of the following is the propagating structures of banana so this was also ibps question but i have twisted it a little bit let's see what's the twist here so options are suckers peepers rhizomes both a and b or all of the above the answer to this question is all of the above now in ibps 2019 they had put only suckers in the option others were all layering grafting like that but i've tried to put up all the uh, options which are suitable as a propagating structure for banana so this kind of question may also come okay so what are the propagating structures of banana then suckers peepers rhizome beads tissue culture these are the uh, propagation techniques of banana or propagating structures tissue culture is a propagating technique okay so for tissue culture which variety is most commonly used in tissue culturing that is grand nine this is important okay and another thing is what that sword suckers are preferred for commercial propagation of banana let's move to question number 9 the term janam is associated with which of the following crops whether it's banana pointed gourd tea bitter leaf or cardamom the answer to this question is option number c that is t so what do you understand by a janam bud in t it is a initial outgrowth from an auxiliary bud typically followed by fish leaf and the mother leaf okay so first there will be janam then there will be fish leaf then there will be the mother leaf the janam bud how can you understand that this is a janam bud it is small resembles a thumb therefore it is also known as thumb leaf and what is the function of janam leaf it is to protect the developing shoot it's a part of the shoot's early growth phase okay so i hope this is clear to you 
Now, in this way, sometimes some uh, typical terminologies related to the different crops might also be asked. Either the description may be given or they may ask you in this way. Like in one of the uh, years, they had asked CTC is associated with which of the following crop. So, then you know it is T. In this way, I have tried to put up a new term that is Janam is associated with which of the following crops. Right. Moving to the last question for today, Baradari is a feature of which style of garden? Usually, IBPS do not deal much in floriculture, but it might always be a surprise element for you. So, try to know the most important ones. Okay, so the options are Japanese, Mughal, Persian, English or Buddhist. So, answer to this question is option number B, that is, it's a part of Mughal garden. So, what exactly is a Baradari? It is a distinctive architectural feature a pavilion with 12 doors okay and this term it comes from the persian or urdu bara which means 12 and dar meaning doors so it was designed to allow free airflow and panoramic views so i hope these 10 questions have given you a rough idea how to prepare and how to revise your sessions which areas can be important for this year's ibps a4 so these are the two uh, three practice questions for you Okay, Pusa Gaurav is a variety of which crop, Pusa Bedana is a variety of which crop and the third question I have not put any option. Try this out, okay, without any option, then try to check it whether you are right or not. And in this way, major producers, major importers, major exporters, this can be important from those crops which are in the news. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope this session was helpful to you. Keep preparing well because the exam is around the corner. Thank you.